Today we're going to talk about how to go in and purchase new games when they become available. The first thing you want to do is log into your excitement portal and you will do that at https colon slash slash my dot excitement dot io. Remember spell excitement without an e a x c i t e m e n t. So https colon my.excitement.io and then you'll see there's a button there to sign in to get started. If you haven't logged in here before it's going to ask you to sign in with your email address and if you haven't logged in before you're going to put in the email address that we have for you and then you don't have a password yet so you will click the forgot your password button. That will send you an email to the email on file and then you can click on that set up a password and then go back into it. After you're done you'll be able to go into your admin settings. Once you get to the admin settings you'll see there's an option to renew licenses or go into the game catalog. Renewing license is where you will renew things so this will tell you when the expiration date is of the different licenses and you can look at which ones are expired so if they're red they're expired and I could select all the expired ones and then add those to the card in order to renew them. When I do it's going to give me the option of paying for one month or paying for a year. The beauty of paying for the year in advance it's a little cheaper and we're going to give you a credit toward buying new games. So buying new games is very easy as well. You click on the button that says game catalog. So here you'll see the only game we have available for sale right now on this demo is the Valentine's game. So if you want to buy the Valentine's game you can see it's $25 and you click on it, it's going to take you to a screen that talks about it and shows you a little screenshot of it and then you can choose to buy now. When you do that, you will see all of the accounts that your email is set up for the admin for. So if you have multiple locations, it might show up multiple times, all right? And that's fine. If you've already purchased this game for a particular lane, it will say that this is already owned for my demo one lane and it's also owned for my demo 10 lane but I haven't purchased it yet for my demo two lane so maybe I want to buy it for that lane I can say yes I want to buy it for that when I do that you'll see it's going to charge 25 times one or I could select all and say I want it for all the lanes that's going to be $25 times 28 and seven hundred dollars so whatever the amount is you want to do so let's clear all the selections I'm going to go down and let's suppose I just want to put it on this lane and this lane I can all right so there's two lanes I'm going to add the Valentine's game to that's $25 times two so it's going to cost me $50 when I check out it's important to note that when you buy a game you have it for that lane for life so next year when your license comes up you renew the license the game is automatically renewed at the same time you don't have to pay for a game other than the original time that you purchase it. Okay, so now that I have the uh, two that I two lanes that I want to add it to, I can go to my checkout and then this will show me what I'm purchasing and what the grand total is. Then you're just going to put in your credit card number and uh, it's also going to ask you for your expiration. Uh, let's put in an expiration that works <laughs> um, and then your three digit code and your zip after you do that then you can sit there and hit your pay button and it will process it and your payment is done then it's a pretty simple task to go into the admin on the particular lanes and tell it that you have purchased this and you need to update it let's take a look at that after you purchase a game, you're going to have to go to the particular lane that you purchased it for. And if you purchased it for a bunch, you'll have to hit each one, but it just takes a, a moment in order to set it up. You have to tell that computer that, yes, indeed, I did just purchase a new game. So let's, uh, let's show it. So let's see how that's done. The first thing you do is you go into your admin, and if you haven't recently, you may as well check for updates, see if there's any updates. So click on that and let it go through an update if necessary. Then what you do is click on your settings, and off of settings, you'll see there's a new button up here called Game Access. When you click on that, 
you will sync purchased games. So big button up here that says sync purchased games that will sync. And then our Valentine's game shows up here because we have purchased that. And now you'll also see that you have the ability to make games not visible. So if I don't want to show the zombie hunter and I don't want to show the Merry Christmas and maybe I don't even want to show tic-tac-toe lineup for duck hunter. So for Valentine's Day I just wanted targets and the Valentine option. I can set it up that way, change it back and forth anytime I want. So now that I hit done we can see that I can set up my teams. I can do standard and I can do Valentine's. So let's close this. We're ready to play and if we're doing the Valentine's game now you can see we have the, the hearts and the box of chocolates and etc. Um, and every time you click on one of them, you get a big explosion of uh, colored hearts. And it's a great game for Valentine's Day. Hope you understand now. It's very easy to add your games. Just pay for them and then go into the admin, sync, and decide which ones you want to show. And you're good to go. If you have any questions, as always, just give us a call.